couple of grade ones next up then and it's the royal bond novices hurdle next day two mile grade one event and at the top we've got b miracle for leon van rensburg team captain david hooley it's a start grade back with maggie risky Derek Hinton and Silver Street, Darren Thompson. Just the five of them then this time. Well, there they go. And very really short one of the first, which they all got to the other side of pretty quickly. And B Miracle is the early leader. As they're already heading down towards the second of the nine flights that we're taking this one. And B Miracle lands a good four lengths clear. Of the rest of them, we were headed by Silver Street, just showing second. We're at Fairy House for those who weren't aware where we were. And yes, I remember it well. Back in SO6 days, the first time Doug had to commentate from Fairy House, and he couldn't believe it was real. He thought it was a made up name. He didn't realize it was a real place called Fairy House. <laughs> um, as he went around at the time, Doug, an Australian commentator. Just have some good times doing some review and preview programs with Doug and Stu. And um, Doug's just straight up St. Like it is Aussie and Fairy House at him in stitches, to be fair. It's B Miracle in the lead at Fairy House from Team Captain and Silver Street. And it's a start, and finally, Maggie Risky. Of any interest, I was speaking to Doug the other week around Melbourne Cup Day, and um, maybe a possibility come SO8 we may get Doug back. We'll see. Anyway, B Miracles in the lead. As they get over the fifth, we need to start in second, and then Silver Street third, and then Team Captain fourth. Finally, Maggie Risky is the back marker at the moment. They've gone through the first half of the race lickety split, and we're well into the business end of it now. Then, um, B Miracle has had it all his own way so far, leads by four over the sixth. There's just three more to take. Um, B Miracle clear of Silver Street, and it's a start. Third team captain, fourth. Maggie Risky just finding it a little bit hot back in fifth, but she'll pick up fifth place prize money. In a grade one, as she finishes. And B Miracle continues to lead, but only by about two lengths or so now. Silver Street being driven up to challenge. The one that look, looks to be going best of all is team captain. It's a start this narrow as they get over the third last. These four are well clear. And B Miracle will start the turn for home with two flights to take and a three length lead over Silver Street team captain. And it's a start. Jockey on it to start keeping it covered up at the moment. Well, he thinks he's got plenty of horses underneath him. He's not asked it for anything yet. B Miracle being driven along to keep up this lead. Team Captain and Silver Street in pursuit. Over the second last they go. It's a start. Swiss to the outside. Now starts to make a move. And this is still wide open between these four. B Miracle's two legs clears. A furlong to go. One to jump. But B Miracle's coming back to the back. Team Captain and Silver Street. It's a start. It's almost four in group, and as they jump the final flight, and it's it's a start. Closest to us, who looks to be going best and bursts into the lead, and he's going to take this right on the line. What a clever ride from Bedrocky on that one. It's a start. Look all over the winner from the second last, and the jockey was cool as you like, and just picks them off. Uh, just goes to prove that Craig Beckwith has got some decent horses. I already missed called one earlier, which was a Paul Rhodes horse, but that's definitely a Craig Beckwith horse, and that was pretty impressive. It's a start for Craig Beckwith. Put that in your notebooks for the supreme novices. Uh, team captain second for David Hooley, B Miracle for Leon Van Rensburg third, Silver Street Darren Thompson fourth, and Maggie Risky was fifth for Derek Hinton.